Protectly vaults support AMI BIOS as well as Core Boot system firmware. If you're unfamiliar with those, we have a video on the channel which goes into the differences between the two, which we'll leave a link to in the video description. If you decide to install one of these on your vault, either on your own or as a pre-install option through our website, not only is it possible to update your firmware after the fact, but you can also change back and forth from AMI to Core Boot. There's always the potential for user error when manually flashing the BIOS. If an error occurs when attempting to flash a vault, it's possible to brick the device, rendering it useless. We'll help out in repairing bricked vaults where we can, but to reduce the risk of user error, Protectly has produced a tool that will flash AMI or Core Boot to supported vaults. This tool, which we refer to as Flashly, automates the flashing process. Flashly is a Python script that uses the FlashROM application on Linux to automatically identify the platform and select the correct firmware file. We currently recommend using Ubuntu version 22.04 as it's gone through extensive testing with Flashly. However, this will likely change in the future, so be sure to check out our knowledge base article, linked below, for up-to-date information. Note that before we get into this, the chances of bricking your unit using Flashly are extremely slim, but mistakes can happen. If the vault is accidentally powered off and the procedure is interrupted, or otherwise not able to complete, your hardware could be rendered inoperable. Please proceed with caution only after fully understanding each step of the following instructions. If you have any questions, please contact Protectly Support, linked in the video description, before proceeding. Some vault models such as the VP series have BIOS lock enabled by default, but it must be disabled prior to using Flashly. If you know your vault already has BIOS lock disabled, you can skip over this section using the timestamp in the video description. If BIOS lock is not disabled, the flash will fail and could brick the device. Verify the BIOS lock is disabled by doing the following. First, reboot the device. While rebooting, press the delete key to enter the BIOS menu. In AMI, from the main menu, navigate to the chipset tab, select the PCH-IO configuration option, and disable BIOS lock by pressing the spacebar. Verify BIOS lock shows disabled, save the changes with F4, press enter to confirm, and allow the system to reboot. In Core Boot, from the main menu, select Desharo System Features, then select Desharo Security Options. Press spacebar on Lock the BIOS Boot Medium to remove the X. Save and confirm all changes with F10. Press Y to confirm, then return to the main menu by pressing Escape, select Reset, and press Enter to reboot. Here are the steps for getting Flashly using Ubuntu Live CD with Firefox. Flashly is located on GitHub, a site used for uploading and sharing code. To download the Flashly files, you can access GitHub through the link in the video description. The way we recommend to use Flashly is by using Ubuntu Live CD, which allows you to use Ubuntu without installing the operating system. To use Live CD, you have to create a bootable USB drive. If you're unfamiliar with how to do that, we have another video on the channel on how to create a bootable USB drive, which we'll leave a link to below. You'll also need to make sure the device is connected to the internet first. On the vault that you want to flash the BIOS on, press F11 while booting up the vault at the Protectly splash screen. Verify the boot menu is displayed. Select the USB drive that does not include UEFI, and verify that option is highlighted. Verify the unit boots up to the Ubuntu install screen, then select Try Ubuntu. Verify the Ubuntu desktop is displayed. You should see the Firefox browser icon. Select the Firefox browser and verify that the browser window is displayed. Browse to the Protectly GitHub page at the link in the video description. Verify the GitHub page is displayed. Select the green Code button and verify that a drop-down menu appears. From here, you can select Download Zip. To navigate to the download folder, click the folder icon. Verify the Protectly Firmware Updater.zip appears. Extract the file by right clicking Protectly Firmware Updater.zip and selecting Extract Here. Verify that the Protectly Firmware Updater folder appears. Navigate to the Protectly Firmware Updater folder and verify that the Flashly, Images, and Vendor folders are present. Also, verify that the Flash BIOS file is present. 
To actually run Flashly, you'll first right-click anywhere in the white space, not including the left gray area, and select Open in Terminal. In the terminal, type the command sudo space dot slash flash BIOS and press enter to run the script. Depending on the unit you're running Flashly on, you may see a warning asking you to acknowledge a series of steps to complete before or after flashing the firmware. Carefully read these instructions and be sure to remember them or write them down so that you can perform any specific procedures that may be required when the flash is complete as you will not have the menu to refer to after flashing. If you get lost here, some model-specific information can be found in the Flashly Knowledge Base article on our website, which we'll leave a link to below. When you're ready, type Y and press Enter to acknowledge the steps. Verify the Flashly menu appears and select the option that is applicable depending on which firmware type you would like to flash to. Carefully read any warnings that appear, keeping in mind that this is the final step before flashing your device. Make sure all cables, especially the power cable, are securely connected and ideally connected to an uninterruptible power supply, if you have one, as power loss while flashing will likely brick the unit. Once you're ready to proceed, type Y and press Enter. The script should start running. Verify that something similar to flash completed and successful and please restart your device appear before proceeding to the next step. If the flash has failed, do not turn off or restart the vault. Instead, try running the script again from the aforementioned instructions. You can then restart or power off the device, depending on what Flashly has instructed you to do next. This will vary depending on which vault model you're flashing. If you run into any issues during this process, be sure to first check out the Knowledge Base article on our website, and then if you can't find what you're looking for there, Feel free to leave a comment below or contact our support team linked in the video description and we'll help you out with any hardware specific issues. If you like the video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe to see more content like this, and thanks for watching.